Hey, hi everyone, this is Phil from statisticsmentor.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to interpret the dummy variables in a logistic regression. For this example, I'm going to use the Titanic data. The DV is survival. Did the passenger survive the Titanic? Yes or no? The IVs, we've got gender, we've got age, so gender, we've got, which is a nominal age which is continuous and then the travel the class of travel first second or third so that is ordinal we are going to tr model the ordinal variables using dummy variables okay to fit the logistic analyze regression binary logistic transfer survive to the dependent variable box and everything else to the covariate box where for the class I'm going to use the first class as the reference category so I leave that out of my IVs, set of IVs then OK. Now our attention is in the variables and equations box specifically here the coefficients and we're going to look at class of travel. Now, since in the dump for, for um, dummy variables, the thing that is code is zero is the reference category. So the coefficients here will be telling us comparing this group. This is like third class travel, comparing this group to the to the first class passengers and the second one will be comparing the survival rate because that's the DV of the sec people traveling second class compared to the first class. Right, the minus figure here in logistic means that the odds of the DV which is surviving, the odds of surviving in third class is going to be lower than for first class and this implies that the probability of surviving in third class will be lower compared to first class. Okay, I said that in terms of probability as well because some people are not comfortable with the odds. Now let's specifically interpret this thing here. This taking the exponential gives us what they call the odds ratio. Instead of exp Instead of explaining things in terms of odds ratio, we can turn it in terms of odds as follows. So for the third class passengers, we can say the odds of surviving in third class is 0 0.106 times the odds for surviving in the first class, holding other IVs fixed. So if you read this to yourself, you will see that this implies that the odds of surviving in first class must be higher the odds of surviving in third class because you're multiplying it by a number less than one to get the odds for third class. Recall I said that this also implies therefore that the probability of surviving in third class must be lower in first class. How do I get 0 0.106? Take the exponential of the coefficient but that's given to us anyway in the output. We can also express it in terms of percentage change. So we can say the odds of surviving is 89% lower for third class passengers than for first class passengers holding other IVs fixed. To get the 89%, I took the odds ratio, subtract 1, and from that whole figure I multiply by 100. That gives us a negative value, and that means we say it's lower. So the change is not is a low, it's gone down, so 89% lower. Okay. Let's repeat the analysis for the second class. So the coefficient for the second class is a negative number. This tells us that the, the, the odds of surviving in second class relative to the first class is lower, smaller. And the odds ratio is 0.281 from which we can use it to make the following sentence. 
the odds of surviving in second class is 0.28 times the odds of surviving in the first class. Again, this is the same as saying that the odds of surviving in first class is higher than the odds of, than the chance of surviving in the second class because the odds the odds here is a negative number. Hmm. We can also express in terms of percentage terms like before, the odds of surviving is 72% lower for second class passengers than for first class passengers. Okay, so this should need less explanation now. Hopefully you've got it. Okay, that's very good. So we now know that the magnitude on the coefficients tells us the odds of surviving relative to the reference category. If it's negative, it means it's got lower odds, i.e. lower chance of the DV happening compared to the reference category. We can also express it in terms of the odds and the percentage changes. Let's now practice with this uh, dummy variable nominal, at the nominal level, it's uh, with um, sex. Zero is stands for the male and one is for fe female. So the way it's coded, the ref what is the reference category? Hopefully you say it's male because that is coded zero. Right, so let's do the interpretation. You've got a positive value here in the coefficient, so what does that tell us about the odds of surviving for a female relative to a male? Hopefully you said it's higher because it's a positive number. So the odds of surviving for a female relative compared to a male is high, higher. Another way of saying that is the chance of surviving for a female is higher compared to a male. Can we say be more specific than just saying higher? Yes, by looking at the odds ratio here turn it to the sentence that the odds of surviving if you're a female is about 12 times higher compared to a male. Can we turn that into percentage? Yes you can, I hear you cry. The, od the odds of surviving for a female is about 1142 percent higher for a female compared to a male, 1,142%. Okay, well, so you've got the gist of it now, I hope. One last thing though, before I let you go, that is, let's go back to this um, class of travel. So we said that the coefficients here compare the uh, looking at the odds of this group relative to the first class. Okay, so both the coefficients, that's comparing the third to the first, this one's comparing the second to the first. How about, though, if I want to compare the second to the third? Now, I think you think that's a good question, isn't it? How, how do I compare the second to the third? Do I look at these two difference of these two figures? Or do I look at the di difference between these two figures? Or does it not matter? Well, it does matter. To get the difference in the odds between the second and the third, we look at the difference of here, not here. So first you look at the difference of here, then for that figure you compute the odds ratio by taking the exponential of the difference between these two numbers. Okay. If you look at the difference between these two numbers, you'll get a different figure than if you look at the difference between these two numbers and take the exponential of these two numbers. And then we can make the following sentence. Com third compared to the second. The odds of surviving in the third class is 0.38 times the odds of surviving in the second class. Now, how did I get that 0.38? Take the exponential of minus 0.971. Where did I get minus 0.71 from? Well, as I said, that's the coefficient. The coefficient is obtained by taking the coefficient of the third class. Since I'm comparing it to the second class, I'm subtracting it from the coefficient of the second class. Putting in the numbers, the coefficient on the third class was minus that. The second class is minus that. You know, this is not a typo two minuses make a plus. So minus 2.241 
minus minus 1.27 is the same as saying plus 1.27. That gives us this figure. To show you indeed that this is the case, let's rerun the analysis but using the second class as the reference category. Analyze regression binary logistic. Take the second class out because that's the that is now the reference category. I put the first class in and OK. And we're looking simply going to look for the coefficient on the third class category and it should be not and it should be about not point three eight. Well it should be no Sorry, it should be, yeah, odds should be, odds ratio should be 0 0.38. Okay, third class, that's the figure, minus 0 0.971. Minus 0 0.971, yippee. And the odds ratio, 0 0.3798, which is basically 3 point, 0 0.38. Excellent. So I hope you take away from this video and how to interpret the dummy variables from a, bi or a binary logistic regression. Okay, well done. Have a nice day.